Now, it's not every day I start a vlog two days before the actual match, but it is Wednesday, it's 9pm, and I'm currently heading to the bus station. And now it's time to board the plane. It's just gone 6 in the morning and that is the sunrise today. It's quarter past 7 in the morning, we've already started and... Quarter past 5 back in. Well yeah, quarter past 5 back in but quarter past 7 here. I've had worse starts to a Friday. Six and a half hours. Now I'm going to go and find my digs. It's 12 o'clock, I've been drinking for roughly about 5 or 6 hours. <laughs> It's not a normal day for me. I, I don't actually drink that much anymore, so I've had a lot more than I usually have. I'm gonna head back to the digs and get some kip for four or five hours and then head back out for the night that is about to kick off. An eternity later. Common sense has prevailed. I've ditched the scarf, it's too hot. Just going to the pub now and then heading up to the ground got like two and a half hours till kick off and Georgia are playing Spain right now as I speak and here we are meeting pub bouncing we are just round the corner from the ground we are in the bit where there's food drink being sold Spain were four and a lot when we left the pub against Georgia so I think we have to just focus on ourselves tonight get the victory and get up the road. Looks like it's Astro Tower. And this is the view of the game that I will have. Cyprus end is there and the rest is going to be pretty much Scotland. Love that. Basically a home game for us. Prediction today, I think we'll win 2-0. A goal in each half, that'll do. Um, not here to see a good game, just here to see the, the result. Uh, as long as we win. Um, but yeah, looking good, happy with the line up. We just need to go get the first goal and just dominate the game. Uh, because if we let Cyprus do all the running, then we shouldn't have much of a problem because you don't want anyone to run in 30 degree heat. I mean, I'm sitting down in 30 degrees and I'm sweltering. So I can't imagine what's going to be like on the pitch. But yes, bring on the game. Looking forward to it. We only have about 10 minutes to kick off the clock. I just don't think you understand. He's CB Clark's man, he's better than Zidane. We've got Super John again. When will we see your lights again? The fall to die for. We'll leave it hell and play a shirt against him. Right there. I'll happily 
so good like honestly it's the most champagne football I've seen like we are still making mistakes but against Cyprus we can make mistakes and we'll still be all right it's just cigar and slippers really it really is it's one of the most complete first half performances I've seen yes we're still making mistakes but we're making up for them by tracking back and it's really good to see 3-0 at half time it could easily be a lot more but I don't know if, if we'll apply the brakes but uh, hopefully we don't Oh yeah, this is absolutely marvellous. And we welcome our heroes back onto the park for the second half. Come on, Scotland. One.
So you're a tourist in a foreign country that you've never been to before. What did I do? I went and got McDonald's. It's like one o'clock in the morning uh, and all I've got to drink is lots and lots of water. Um, I'm not on the booze because I have a video to edit being this one. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I will see you when I'm back in a place where I feel like I can actually record. Uh. Right, so it's the morning after. <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. I leave for the airport in probably about an hour. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed last night's match, uh, a 3-0 win against Cyprus. We definitely deserved it. Um, it was just a golfing class, I I'd say, uh, that there was in show. And yeah, just really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next vlog, which will be against England. Uh, which should be up on Wednesday after Tuesday night. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you soon.